Hey yo, LAZ, that drip boy design right there, that's one of my designs, you feel what I'm saying? I got that design, I own it, I own all the files and rights to it, you feel what I'm saying? And I got a whole bunch of other designs and logos and stuff like that. So if you interested in pushing a clothing line and investing in a clothing line that we could push on this channel on every episode, get at me, you heard? Send me an email if you got jail stories too. If you want to collab, do your research on me. I got videos with Jada Kiss, Jim Jones, Conway, Tony Yayo. Songs with all type of major dudes. You heard? Had songs played on major FM radio. Had videos played on MTV. I do this rap thing for real, not for fake. So if you want to collab with me, get at me. That price is delicious. 500 cash for the song and the promo. You ain't beating that nowhere. Shout out to the whole Coney Allen. Shout out to the whole 23rd. You heard Brooklyn Legacy. It's legacies to be told. You heard it's stories to be told. I'm in the story business. So don't hate me when I bring you that real authentic Brooklyn history. You heard Z Lord. Like, it was all official with him. More like used to tell police, yo, more like, on the spliff, y'all slow my money up. Y'all being over here, y'all slow my money up. That ain't, you know, police used to kindly get the fuck off the block. Merce and Jazz, one day Jazz told me, yo, don't tell people who your cousins is, man. He said, yo, I like you, man. And you know, you know, Killer Ben, you know, he probably he has something to do with my brother, but I like you, man. Don't 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 tell people who your cousins are. Don't tell people who your family is. Whatever. And then um they found out eBay was my cousin. They found out Trub is my cousin. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, hold up, you, Bugs, and all of them? Yeah, yeah, we all related. I, my family is big. Yeah, Bugs is my cousin. Trub is my cousin. eBay is my cousin. Yeah, they are. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? I had to get, I got away from that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 now nah, I can't be fucked with y'all at all because I already know what y'all trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't get caught up in this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I got away from them. And like New York niggas was coming down there making shit sloppy. Um, you know, um, they bringing new dudes down, dudes coming down with two grams and all that. Yo, 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 help me get this off. Like, you know, like, 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 I'm in school with dudes was coming down there with two grams. Two grams, yeah. <laughs> dudes, coming, dudes coming down with two grams, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, when, when you know, when Nut came through, you know what I'm saying? When Nut came through, niggas had work. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, Nut blessed us this, then the third. I don't, I'm not touching that. I don't want that at all. I'm getting away from y'all niggas. I'm getting away, far away. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mikey was doing, you know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing, and then um, Mikey cousin Rick the Wooler, right? I think it was Rick the Wooler. We call we call we start calling him Rick the Wooler because he started smoking wools and shit. You know what I'm saying? His name is Rick, so you know Rick the Wooler. You know what I'm saying? Like we started calling him that shit, whatever, right? And then I bring a couple niggas from Tompkins. I never brought nobody from Coney Allen down. I brought niggas from Tompkins down with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and the niggas that I was that was with me from Tompkins, you know, they, they seen these niggas from Gates and all that. Yo, I went to Van Arles there with him. Oh, he was in Eastern District. Yo, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? So 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 now they like, yo, hold up. We thought you was from Connecticut. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm not from Connecticut. I, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Coney Island. But they thought I was from Connecticut the whole time. The whole time. New York niggas was coming down there thinking I was from Connecticut. Pudge and them never said nothing at all. And I remember one day Pudge was like, yo, L Train, what you doing? I'm like, yo, psh, Pudge, I'm you know what I'm saying? He said, yo, come through and, and bring your dogs with you. And I had two big ass Rottweilers, right? And every time I walked with my Rottweilers, I always kept my tool on me. I always kept that wild thing on me every time I walked with my Rottweilers. Because when police come, they worried about the dogs first. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was Green Street. Um, and I think this is the street that Mikey got popped on, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was down there, and you know, the Mount Vernon niggas and all that, and Pudge was like, yo, L train, nigga, front, you gonna let them things, you gonna let them dogs go? I took the leash off. I took the leash off of them. Had them sit down. I'm like, yo, 
punch. When you say when you say let him go, I'm gonna let him go. You know what I'm saying? And, and then the Mount Vernon niggas, um, Panama what was what was fucking with the Mount Vernon niggas in Panama. I'm like yo, 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 L train, yo, let me talk to you for a minute. This down the third. So me and Panda kicked it, whatever. I, I got mutual respect for this. I got mutual respect for Panda. It's like he had mutual respect for me, whatever. So, you know, we kicked it, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then, um, you know, nothing, nothing went down. Nothing went, nothing went down at all, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm, and I'm just trying to stay clear. I'm just trying to stay clear of a lot of things because I already know, like, when my name is mentioned, Bell, Barnsman ain't come to fuck with me. I know the bounty hunters and everything else. You know what I'm saying? I know who the bounty hunters and everything is. You know, um, it's this chick named, um, I ain't gonna say her last name. You know what I'm saying? Her, but her cousin, her, her uncle was top cop and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I used to get information. I, I used to get information from di- many different sources and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and, like, I never, like, I didn't go to jail for drugs at all. Every time, um, they tried to catch me, you know what I'm saying? They tried to catch me with a gun, whatever. And then after I left Connecticut, because we left in I left in '99, like everybody, you know what I'm saying, started going do their own thing, whatever, whatever. But I left in '99. I didn't come down to Connecticut with nobody at all. You know what I'm saying? I was down there by myself, whatever. So I had to sneak back and forth into Connecticut. And one night I snuck into Connecticut. You know, nobody know I'm there. So me and one of my mans from the city, his name Big T, we pop up. Like, like I bump into him, he like, yo, what's up? Let's go have a drink. Friday night, so we walk in, the, we walking in the spot. Nigga looked and said, oh, L train and T, somebody gonna get shot tonight. I'm out of here. Nigga started leaving. Yo, L train and T together. L train and T together. And I'm like, yo, T, I'm out of here, man. Like, I can't go nowhere and enjoy myself because half of these niggas is scary. Connecticut, like, it was, a, it was a crazy trip, man. Like. And, and, and to this day, like, you know, like, I've been wanting to go back to Connecticut, but every time I go to Connecticut, somehow the police always know I'm in Connecticut. So I call them. And one time um, I'm in Connecticut, somebody happened to get shot. Police come knock on my brother's door and said, we heard you was in town, but I couldn't believe it. And they said, every time you come into town, somebody gets shot. I'm like, listen, man, I didn't, I'm telling the cop his name is Stryker. I'm like, listen, Stryker. I just got in last night. Look at my ticket. Yo, man, I didn't leave this motherfucking house. Like, it's Canberra's. You could look. It's Canberra's. I did not leave this house at all. Yeah, we just want to make, yeah, but every time you come into town, somebody gets shot. And I was like, yo, I never shot nobody. I shot to defend myself. I didn't. I never shot nobody at all. And matter of fact, no, I'm lying, because the person, I did shoot somebody, but I called the ambulance for them. I, I popped them, bang. And so we got. I called the ambulance and told the ambulance exactly where he was at. <laughs> this shit, because I didn't want. You know what I'm saying? I don't want. I don't want the nigga to die. I didn't want to shoot the nigga. But but he forced my hand. He reached, and I was just quicker on the draw. And he had a starter pistol on him. He was reaching for a starter pistol, but it's like, yo, you don't know who you're playing with. Every time, like one time, me and my man Doobie, I was in Connecticut again. We had a bar. He like, yo, L train, come on, we out, we out. A girl turned around and said, "You L train?" I said, "Yeah." She just started crying and shaking. I'm like, yo, what, what, what's wrong? She, you fucked my childhood up. You you, you messed my you ruined my childhood. I'm like, I don't even know you. What like what happened? And she just could she like uncontrollably like she couldn't control herself, shaking and crying. That's L train. People like, oh shit, like. But then I thought, I said, you know what? She was probably one of the young girls that was coming home from school when that shit happened. Because uh, after that shooting happened, um, they never found the gun that I did the shooting with. They, they found the AK. Because um, there's a dude named Bolo from Red Hook. Big Bolo. Like, Bolo, like, his whole hand would take up a half a nigga face. Like, and, and, you know, Bolo was like, yo. He would always suck his teeth. Yo. Little Coney Allen, yo. Got something for you, baby. And he, he had blessed him. I'm like, yo, like, that's my first AK. That's my first time ever actually holding an AK and seeing the AK. I never shot this shit because I was scared to shoot it. Like, like I'm not shooting this shit. This shit is bad. But that's what police had found that day. Um, they came, whatever. And um, I went to, I, I went to court for a ticket. And that's how I got locked up for the shooting and all that shit. And you know what I'm saying? And it, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like... You know, like, 
and then I started bouncing back and forth. And then, you know, my people from Coney Island, you know, they used to come up to Connecticut because we all have family in Connecticut and shit. They come up to Connecticut, you know, they bring a little something, whatever, whatever. You give me that. I got you. You hit Friday, you leave a Sunday. Then I had a money by Sunday. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And like, it, it was so crazy. It was so crazy. The money in Connecticut was so crazy. Like, niggas was a stack and niggas was reckless with the money. Reckless. Taking cabs from Connecticut just to go down to um, Lyndon and Powell at the time. We jumping in a cab to go down to Lyndon and Powell and coming back just to buy a couple bags of weed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, we want Jamaican food. We'll, we'll drive down to Sally's. You know what I'm saying? We we jump. You know what I'm saying? We jump in the cab, and then we had like we, we knew heads that you know worked in car dealerships and shit, whatever. One time, um, we had took a we took a Porsche from the um, car dealership. The shit broke down. We left the shit in we left the shit in New York and jumped on the train and came back, right? And then one time, I had to re up in the Connecticut, and I'm like, yo, damn, I didn't feel like taking a bus or nothing. A dude that my man knew pulled up. And he pulled up playing some buckshot shit that I never heard before. And I'm like, yo, what CD is that? It was the BDI Thug. I'm like, yo, when did this shit come out? I said, yo, you, you like buckshot? He said, yo, I love buckshot. I said, you want to meet him? He said, you can get me to meet buckshot? And the girl went, like, that nigga don't know buckshot, shorty. I'm like, yo, my man, do you want to meet buckshot or not? He like, yeah, I want to meet buckshot. I'm like, when you want to leave? Like, we, we, we go to down to New York tonight. I can introduce you to Buckshot. You're going to meet Buckshot for real. We jumped in this car. I had to be up. We jumped in this car. We went down. We came down to the city. But I stuck true to my word. We was at Buck. We was at Buck Crib. Me, him, and the guard, Mighty Rail. And you know what I'm saying? The guard, Mighty Rail, like, yo, he's one of the vanguards from 23rd. You know what I'm saying? He and him and Buck is like brothers. You know, he's a but He's the vanguard, right? Like, like every, like... Like like everybody like back in the days, like Mighty was the one who stepped up. The guard Mighty Rail was the one who stepped up. Like you, you you fuck with anybody from the block, whatever. You thought you was coming to the block to fight. Mighty Rail, aka Bass. Like Buck mixed, mentioned him in a couple records and all that stuff. And if you ever watch Buckshot videos, Mighty is always on Buck right side. You know what I'm saying? They like brothers and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Mighty, Mighty used to catch me walking down the street with my hoodie on and batting gloves. He'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. What you, yeah, 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 yeah. Take that hoodie off your head and take them batting gloves off, man. Looking like a little hoodlum out here, man. What's wrong with you? Now, you know how I take the hoodie off, take the batting gloves off, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm out of his sight, I throw the hoodie back on, put the batting gloves back on. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of his sight. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when Mighty Rail seen you and you was doing something that you was supposed to be doing, he spoke up about it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he, he used to sit down to school as this, like, with the 5% lessons and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mighty Rail, the only dude that I know that I argue with a killer. And, and, and that stand there, like, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen him argue with, with, with dudes that, that's about that, about that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they love Mighty, you know what I'm saying? But, Anyway, back to the situation, right? So, I get down to New York. I do what I got to do. Boom, I hit, I hit Mighty. Yo, yo, we go to Buck Crib, right? So, boom, dude, like, oh, shit. Buckshot Shorty. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he. We call him Snoop Guru. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he smoked. We be blowing and all that stuff. So, now he go back to Connecticut. Like, I, that, that was the highlight of his life. Yo, I was with Buckshot. Yo, I went to Buckshot Crib. Yo, I smoked weed with Buck. And it's like, yo, you for real? L train took me. L train took me. And he's like, yo, you really know Buckshot and all of them? I said, yo, do y'all remember when Buck and them came up here and did that show? Where, and, and, and they was like, yo, I see you niggas in the audience that I know so far for someone. And then there was a fake boot camp click. They told me, yo, the boot camp having a party. So, like, all the niggas that's from Brooklyn and all that stuff, like, yo, Buck and them having a party? So we get to the door, you know what I'm saying? We get to the club and all that stuff. And niggas, and niggas like, yo, 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 you know, they call him Buck by his real name. Like, yo, where, where you at? And the dude came to the door, like, hey, what Buckshot at? I'm Buckshot. You what? We we beat the whole, we, we, we beat them up. Y'all niggas not Buckshot. Y'all niggas ain't the boot camp. Nigga, bing, 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 bing. End the whole party. Get the hell up out of here, man. Y'all niggas ain't no goddamn boot camp. <laughs> well, 
Like, like y'all, 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 y'all fronting, y'all perpetrating, like, you, you know what I'm saying? And like, and, 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 and what was crazy about it, what was crazy about it, like, I was so in tune with the town, you know, like, I used to be in New London, I used to be in Norwich, Groton, Bridgeport, New Haven, Hartford, like, and, and, and like, like, and the, the dudes that I used to fuck with, like, my man Mike Reynolds, him and his team, they did nothing but rock, they, like, they rode around with hoodies, masks, and duct tape on them all goddamn day. That, that was their thing. That, 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 that was their thing. <laughs> mask, hoodie, and duct tape. And if they, and if I, and if that, if that car was parked in front of somebody's crib, yeah, they, they, up, they, they upstairs grabbing some paint. They, they, they taking some paint. That's what they doing. Yeah. And, and then, like, you know, you got some New York dudes that came down there, you know, on a sensitive shit. You know, um, it was one, it's one dude. Uh, I was just talking to my man the other day, and he was like, "Yo, such and such said, what up?" Man, fuck that nigga, man. And he came to Connecticut and, 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 and murdered somebody over a chick, man. Fuck that. I ain't fucking with that nigga. I don't, I don't speak to that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? And, he, and I told him, I, I said, "Yo, next time you talk to him, I said, ask him how them 65 years is treating him." Because, because guess what? She married to somebody else. She fucking somebody else. Ask him how that's 65 years. I'm treating him. And then one time, right, um, one of my mans, right, he was like, yo, come with me, right? He, we, went, we went to go, you know what I'm saying? He went to his girl job. And he's like, yo, she told me she had to work, and she ain't at work. He go back to the crib. He bust the door down. Who in the crib? It was Mikey's brother, Sergio. Um, Rick the Wooler, <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, right? I'm like, oh wow, and you know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and later on that night, you know what I'm saying? I ran into him, he's like, yo, son, he's like, yo, I was about to let, let that thing, I said, I seen you grab, I said, I seen you grip up, nigga, I seen you grip up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen that. He's like, yo, I was like, yo, good thing you didn't turn around and let that shit off, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then there was another dude from New York. Right, and, and this story right here, it sounds outrageous, but I'm about to tell you, right? Right, um, we used to, like, the niggas used to hustle in the barns in Connecticut, right? So, some shit that happened, I told this chick, yo, you can't hustle in here no more, you gotta get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? You're like, you, 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 you trying to cut throats and anything else. So, boom, she went and told this nigga, whatever, whatever. So, I'm sitting at the, I'm sitting in the bar and I'm drinking. The nigga came and said, yo, let me talk to you for a minute. Can I talk to you for a minute outside? I said, yeah, give me a minute, man. I'll be there. So I'm sitting there drinking, whatever, still talking talking to this person I was talking to. And um, he came back in and said, yo, I said, let me talk to you outside for a minute. I said, yo, my man, you better have a gun on you talking to me like that. You you better have a gun. We go outside, show him below. This nigga pulls out as a 357 um, wooden handle joint. No, 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 no. I already got slapped with a 44 Bulldog. So this is not going down again at all. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as the nigga pulls it out, I rushed him. We fighting for the gun. Boom, 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 boom. I slammed the nigga. The gun come out of his hand and I kicked it. Instead of me going to grab the gun, I tried to run. I tripped over nothing. There was nothing in my way. I tripped and I fell. And I looked over my shoulder. Nigga got the gun in his hand. And I'm looking over my shoulder. I jumped up. I said, yo. You know I'm gonna kill you, right? So you should have shot me, I'm gonna kill you. I walked back in the bar, sat down, started finishing my drink. Everybody like, yo, L train gonna kill us. Everybody start leaving, yo, L train gonna kill And I'm, I'm finished, Barton, give me another drink. She's like, give me another drink. So now, I don't know how these niggas get the word, get, get the word, but the niggas come, like, yo, son, man, everybody come, yo, what happened, what happened? This bitch ass nigga thought he was gonna pistol with me. Well, you know what I'm saying? So now we, we, we were on round deep. You know what I'm saying? And nigga, you know what I'm saying? He, he driving by, nigga like, yo, let off, let off, let off. I'm like, nah, man. I'm not shooting at the nigga while he's driving by. I said, suppose one of these bullets fly in somebody's house or something like that. No, I want him. I want him. And then maybe six months ago, me and him finally talked. I'm on Facebook and I see him. I'm like, yo, my nigga, you know I've been waiting for you for like 13 years to come home, right? I've been waiting for you. He like, yo, L, yo, man, yo, we was young, this, that, and the third, yo, I, you know what I'm saying, you disrespected me, nah, 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 nigga, 
you disrespected me. And, uh, and we, we talked about the whole situation with him. And he's like, yo, it was a misunderstanding. I didn't know all that, this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever. But me and him finally, we, we talked about it and all that stuff. But I, but I held that grudge because after getting slapped with that 44 on Coney Allen, nah, 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 that's that, that's not going to happen again, my man. Like, like how we used to do it, like, you know, everybody take turns. You, you, get, you get that lick, you get that lick, you get that lick. It's, it's, a, it's enough money to go around. You know what I'm saying? But she was being a little extra greedy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to run down on everything, so forth and so on. And it's like, hold up. Like, hold up. Who you think you playing with? Like, 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 who you think you playing with? Like, for real. So, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, like I said, like, 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 half of the stories that I heard about me in Connecticut is not true at all. Like, I remember one time I tried to holler at this chick and say, like, I'm waiting for my man to come through. My man L train. I said, what? I said, L train your man? She said, yeah. I'm like, that nigga pussy. She like, tell him to his face when you get here. I'm like, all right, I will. So the nigga happened to pull up maybe an hour later, 45 minutes to an hour later. And I'm like, yo, you don't want to run around using my name? And then he had to have, he happened to have the same guest leather I had on. I pulled out my razor, I cut that shit off of him. Get, just take this fucking leather off, nigga. You run around using my name? And then again, everybody think that I'm a six that I'm six feet. And no, 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 no. It's little old me. Little old frail me is L train. But y'all made me this way. Like, like this is not who my mother raised. You know what I'm saying? Y'all made me this way. And then but again, we, my but father, you said you said that incident that you that that happened in Connecticut. It was that first incident that 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 like you was out there chilling at first. I was out there chilling, just, you know what I'm saying, getting a little bit of paper, because, like, like all, all my father's friends got high. So, you know, they used to, at Thursday, they get they check, they come to my father's house. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my, you know what I'm saying, my father usually, or they usually drive and get some shit, whatever. But I'm down here now. You know what I'm saying? So they don't, they don't, they don't got to go far. And then my father introduced me to the guys down the street, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I, as I got introduced to them, whatever, you know, I, I started fucking with them, whatever, you know what? On Summer Street, I started fucking with them, and then you know, saying as I'm fucking with them, you know, we used to beat niggas up, like like beat. We, there was no guns involved. Like we'd pull up on niggas, like maybe three or four cars. We'd jump out, beat them up on the block, or whatever, smash them with garbage cans and all that. Jump in the car, you know, and we skate back off. But it was that one nigga who pulled out that motherfucking gun, and shot at the ground, took my. You look, y'all could have been dead. Y'all could have been dead. After that, no. That, and, that, and that's the only reason why that's the only reason why I fired what I fired that's the only reason why I shot is because of what he did because I wasn't um, I, I, was, I wasn't going for it like like like. okay this time you shot at the ground told me y'all could have been dead and next time you probably you probably try to shoot one of us you know what I'm saying and, and, and like, like, like and, and then you know the whole thing is like you a New York nigga who never had no props and you, you never had no props back home or nothing like that. So you come up here, and, and now you think you, now, now, now you John Gotti? And now I don't fall for that. Like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. I, I, done, I done got a little bit of change in Marcy. I got a little bit of change in Tompkins. I got change in Marlboro. I was getting change in Coney Allen. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and with my cousin Corey, you know what I'm saying? He used to be uptown and all that shit. I used to be with him and everything else. And it's like, hold up, nah, nah. You, you're not gonna fool me. I, I know real niggas, and I know niggas that's about that business. Cause it's like and, and Coney Island, like that one, that block, Twenty Third Building One was getting money, Building Two was getting money, Building Three was getting money. But everybody on Building One side, you know what I'm saying? It was all shooters. You had shooters. Yo, bro, I gotta get that story of Moloch. Like his story yo, need to be told, my nigga. Yo, Moloch, man, listen, I remember one Moloch on the screen on the script and Moloch you know what I'm saying one time um, some Jamaican niggas thought they could sell in the building Moloch gave them niggas two options but from the 14th floor either you jump or I'ma kill you the niggas jump out the window from the 14th floor one nigga hit the floor got up and walked to the, walked and sat on the bench and died yeah it was crazy with Moloch it was crazy right True story, like Moloch used to have police in the lobby shooting dice with him, playing CEO. And, and, and police, like, yo, yo, and Mo, bang, bang, 
Pink 500. What you got? Yo, I got 50. I got and, and, and Moloch in that lobby rolling dice with police. Like, it was all official with him. Moloch used to tell police, yo, like, on the screen, y'all slow my money up. Y'all be over here, y'all slow my money up. That ain't, you know, police used to kindly get the fuck off the block. I you, said, you said that Jamaican shit, you said they, he made them jump out the project window? 14, from 14 stories up. And, and what projects is that? 23rd, Carry Gardens. That's where you grew up at in Carry Gardens? Yeah. Yeah, at first I lived in Mermaid Houses, right? And then my mom moved to 23rd, right? When she moved to 23rd, you know, um, we lived on the second floor. And then my father was still in the army at this time, so I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Texas. I'm I'm back in New York. I'm in Virginia. I'm back in New York. You know, um, I'm in Texas again. Um, you know, when my father was getting shipped out to, um, I think it was Korea or some shit, and my mom was like, "Oh no, 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 